Hello all, my name is Sandeep Kannan. I'm 24 years old, a Gen Z farmer from Tirupati. We all know the importance of good food, especially vegetables and leafy greens. Hashtag balanced diet, you are what to eat, good food is good life, and nothing new to us. But what makes these vegetables good? We would answer this question saying fresh, nutritious, residue-free produce. Yeah, that's right. However, the real question is, are we having access to such fresh and healthy grown produce? Are our agricultural practices sustainable enough, ensuring a steady flow of fresh and nutritious vegetables for our generations to come? Let us better understand how vegetables are generally produced and consumed today. The most widely practiced type of farming is called conventional farming, which involves cultivating crops in open soil fields where there is no control over the resources being used. Timely agronomic practices are not followed, exposing crops to pests and diseases, which is followed by application of overdosed chemical weedicides and pesticides. Over time, the pests and diseases have developed resistance towards these chemical applications, thus requiring the farmer to use them in higher and higher concentrations. This leads to soil, water, air pollution, and also leaves chemical depositions in the produce. This harvested produce then exchanges multiple hands and travels multiple days to reach the end consumer. Present day supply chain involves farmer to aggregator, to distributor, to retailer, and then finally to the end consumer, all while being loaded and unloaded multiple times, storing in unhygienic conditions, thus wasting some of the produce and depleting a lot of the nutrient value in the journey. The intermediaries to make the produce look fresher are adding non-permissible chemicals and name them as farm fresh. After consuming this produce, consumers are developing health issues. To give it a factual perspective, about 385 million people fall ill every year due to pesticide poisoning. Additionally, poor handling practices result in the wastage of 1.3 billion tons of fresh produce every year. I was deeply worried about the situation and wanted to work on a lean enterprise where we could provide freshest vegetables directly to the consumer straight from the farmer with very minimal intervention. So I started exploring different possibilities, such as hydroponic farming. Let me explain how we go vegetables hydroponically. In this process, we use small pots filled with coconut fiber that acts as a media to hold the required moisture and provide support to the crop. We then provide the crops with nutrient enriched water as a medium to provide the necessary nutrition required for its growth, giving us better and faster yields. Crops absorb the required amount of water and the excess water flows back into the system in a circulation manner, helping us to reuse the water again and again making the system more efficient and sustainable. Hydroponic farming uses about 90 to 95% less water than conventional farming, thus increasing the water use efficiency, fertilizer use efficiency, giving us more crop per drop. This hydroponic unit is placed inside a poly house, which helps us to create a contamination-free, protected environment and also makes it possible to regulate climate. This climate control feature enables us to cultivate crops year long, irrespective of the season, ensuring a steady flow of sustainably grown produce. Both hydroponics and polyhouse combined eliminate the risks of soil-borne and air-borne pests and diseases. As a result, it eliminates the usage of chemical applications as well. Once the produce is ready for harvest, we make sure to do so hygienically, pack them in breathable packages, and deliver them directly to the consumer within few hours of harvest, guaranteeing both freshness and full nutrition content. My journey as a farmer began in the year 2020 during the first COVID lockdown when I tried hydroponics with a DIY setup. I grabbed a few pipes, welded a few frames, bought the necessary equipment, and established a small scale hydroponic unit on the terrace of our house. It was a success. I cultivated vegetables sustainably and sold them in the neighborhood. Later in the year 2021, with the help of my friends and family, I established a bigger commercial hydroponic unit in Tirupati. This grabbed the attention of many farmers and even they wanted to produce residue-free vegetables as well. Setting up a polyhouse and hydroponic unit may not be practical or economical to all. So we made the farmers to implement GAP. GAP stands for Good Agricultural Practices, which refers to a set of guidelines for farming and fruit production that aims to minimize risks to human health and environment while promoting sustainable agricultural practices. In conventional farming, Often farmers unknowingly use excess fertilizers, weedicides, and pesticides, increasing their cost of cultivation, degrading the soil health, and also in turn reducing on their yields. Implementing GAP 
change their way of cultivation, helping them to get better quantitative and qualitative yields as GAP reduces the chemical usage, recommends soil test-based fertilizer applications, which reduces their cost of cultivation as well. This better quantitative and qualitative yield fetches them better returns as well in the market. Looking towards the future, the world's population is projected to be 8.6 billion by the year 2030, which means 800 million more people than in 2020. So imagine, how are we going to feed this growing population, given the growing population does not only require more food, but also resources like water, land for housing, and energy. So, uh, in conclusion, hydroponics and GAP are the way for us to sustainably provide access to fresh and nutritious vegetables for our generations to come. Bringing youth into agriculture is crucial for the sustainability of the agriculture sector and future of food production. Despite the challenges that the agriculture sector faces, like less uh, resources, climate change, technological advancements, the demand for growing, for, uh, the, the growing demand for the sustainably grown produce has tremendous opportunities for the young people to get involved and make change for ensuring a prosperous and resilient future of our communities and our planet. Let us work together to create a world where agriculture is not only seen as a viable career path, but also a meaningful and successful way of life. Thank you.